gonna go ahead. All right, guys. So first thing first, let's go ahead and start off with our prayer. We don't want to, you know, do anything uh, before we, of course, let God into the building. So go ahead and close your eyes with me and uh, bow your heads. We'll go ahead and say our prayer, all right? Um, Father God, I want to just start off by just thanking you, Lord. Thank you for allowing us to be able to wake up this morning because we know, Father, that not everybody had that privilege. We know that, you know, we're grateful for the fact that we're able to be here in fellowship together this morning and we have other people who are behind us and beside us and are pushing us and leading us from the front. We appreciate you, Father, for putting us in this position to win. Lord, as we move forward into this amazing, fantastic Friday, I ask God that you just continue to touch the hearts and minds of every single person in this organization. Every single person who is being challenged right now by obstacles that the devil has put in place, Father. Every single challenge right now and every single health ailment, every single mental block, every single uh, uh, disease, Father God, anything that's holding our agents back, our family back, I ask right now that we just rebuke that, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We rebuke any type of demon, any type of disease, any type of sickness, any type of mental health, any type of thing that's stopping our family from succeeding and getting to where you want them to be in the destiny that you've already designed for them, Lord. Father God, I ask that you just touch the hearts and minds of every single person on this call who is battling those spirits right now, battling that feeling of wanting to give up, battling that feeling of wanting to slow down, battling that feeling of needing a break, Father God. We just ask that you continue to pour into them and remind them that they're not alone because we know that you will never forsake us, Father, and we just thank you for all of the things that you continue to pour over this organization, the direction that we're moving as a family, the growth that we're experiencing as a company. We thank you for all that you've been putting in place. We know that this is a kingdom business, and we just pray and ask that you continue to help us build our business. As we move forward today and this weekend, allow us to close out this week strong, Father. Allow that person who's been slow in their personal production, allow them to close those deals that they've never closed before, bring in those agents that they never thought that they would bring in, be able to put them in position of promotions that they only could have dreamed about, Father God. We ask and demand right now for success all across Mobile Nation. We thank you. We love you for all that you do, all that you've done, and all that you haven't even done yet, Father God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen, 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 amen. Guys, Y'all, I'm telling you right now, I'm feeling too good right now. So the only announcement I really want to share, and then we're going to talk about some other things, some events that are coming up at the end of this call. I'm mixing it up a little bit. The very first thing we want to talk about is today's training at 530. Let's make sure we lock into that. Today's training at 530, same exact link. I know some of y'all already asking, what's the link? What's the link? It's the same link as the morning call. So save this, put an alarm in your phone right now. Put an alarm in your phone right now for five o'clock PM Eastern Standard. So that way you are ready, plugged in by 520 and then 530. We got a great, great training that we're going to share with you all. Something that I think that every single person needs to see, whether you're in the business or not in the business. Uh, today's training is going to touch on all of those components of life, of mindset. And uh, I can't wait to be able to share that with you guys later on today. Uh, but let's go ahead and jump in. Like I said, I got a phenomenal message that I want to share with you guys. Um, I think it's phenomenal. And I think it's phenomenal because it was something that I wish was said to me early on in my career. And so I'm going to share with you guys because I, I feel like you need to hear this. And so first thing first, we're going to start off with our video. And uh, let's watch this video together. And from that point, we'll get into our topic. You guys ready? If you're ready to go ahead and learn something today, drop 10X in the chat box right now. If you're ready to get started on the morning call, get your manifestations together, get your motivation together, drop 10X in the chat. Look, Michelle, she said 10X, X, 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 X. She won it all. I love it. We got Eddie ready, Lynn's ready, David's ready. Okay, I see enough. I see enough. Keep dropping the 10Xs. And we're going to go ahead and share this video now and go ahead and start our day. Here we go, guys. There is a light inside of every one of us, an ember that burns and begs us to become more than what we have ever been. It's our aspirations that must become our allies, 
I noticed that everything that I've accomplished over the course of my life, I accomplished with a new set of beliefs and a new set of habits. I noticed I was able to make things happen when I destroyed the door in the room. See, I don't care what your goal is. It could be relationships. It could be to lose weight. It could be to make more money. It could be to become something nobody in your family has ever been. The moment that you destroy the door, the way out, in the room of your dream, that's when you make it happen. What you do while you are in pain will echo through the ages. Scrape the grill of your past and get all that junk out of there. Of every memory of every failure, you need to unplug from everybody and everything that is telling you that you cannot have your future, that you cannot have this goal, that you can't do what's on your heart to do. You gotta unplug, 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 unplug. There are too many people in your life that keep telling you that you are not qualified, that you don't have what it takes, that you will never be able to accomplish because your resume ain't long enough, because you don't have the experience, because you are unfit. And so you gotta unplug from all the negative voices. You gotta unplug from everything and everybody that's telling you you cannot have that dream, that you are not qualified to have that dream. You gotta unplug. You gotta unplug. It may hurt because there are some people that you're gonna have to let go of. There are some people that, that can't come with you to the next level. They're not qualified to fly at the frequency that you're flying at. They cannot come. And you gotta get in touch with you. See, you can't have the dream unless you know you. Now, everybody wants this dream. Everybody wants this lifestyle, but they don't know themselves. And so you need to take some physical evaluation, some emotional and psychological evaluation, spiritual evaluation, and you got to figure out, okay, what works and, and, and what doesn't? And, and what are my boundaries and what are my limitations and what am I capable of and what do I need to work on? And then you need to connect with the people that believe in your dream. Life moves at the speed of your relationships, connections, and circles. You need to ask for forgiveness. You need to forgive yourself. You need to reprioritize your activities. Everybody wants the dream to come true, but nobody wants to reprioritize their activities. Nobody wants to hack into their habitual nature and build new habits that are going to give you the future that you seek that you seek after. If not now, then when? Dream big, start small. You gotta dream big, start small, act now. Dream, dream big, big, start, start small, small, act, act now. now. Stop waiting for the temperature to change. Stop waiting for your feelings to be in check. Stop waiting for everything to line up. It's never going to line up. It's never going to be perfect. You just got to jump. You just have to jump. There are no roses without rain. If you can remember that, then you will always see adversity as advantage and obstacle as opportunity. Know this, that your process may be messy, but your mess will become your message. So what is your why? Because if your why is powerful enough, then you can persevere through the process. What is it? Find it, define it, be reminded that you can, you will, you must never give up. The actions that you take, the moves that you make will we'll echo, echo throughout, throughout the, the ages. ages as there is a generation of people who are attached to your why. And if you don't succeed, they'll never believe. So make it happen. Persistence, consistency, resilience, courage. Friends would walk up to me and just be like, Establishing your priorities, mastering self-awareness, maintaining focus, believing that your help is coming because if your dream only requires you, it's not big enough. And I know it's hard right now, and I know you feel like quitting, but you gotta understand there is no tomorrow. There is no tomorrow. Stop lying to yourself and telling yourself that 
you have time. See, the greatest lie that you have believed far too long is that you have time. You have time. That there is a tomorrow that, that you can drag your feet and you can, you can crawl. Sometimes you gotta run. That kid, you can't crawl towards some dreams. You can't walk towards some dreams. Some dreams you gotta run towards. You gotta run, baby. Run, run, run. Run after it. Run like there's no tomorrow. Run like you know you deserve it. Run like you know that there is nobody else that can attain it. Run after it. For many of you, defeat has traumatized you and it has left an image in your head. And this is why you won't go after it. I want you to erase the face of defeat and embrace the process. Now I know for many of you, that's like a bad word. You hate process, but see the process is a series of actions or steps taken in order to achieve a particular end. And in order for you to reach your end, that end is going to have to be extremely valuable in your eyes. The process is muddy. The process is murky. The process is dark. The process is cold. The process is going to leave you in places where you're going to feel like you have been abandoned, like nobody believes in you, nobody supports you. When you don't see a light at the end of your tunnel, you got to remember the light that is burning inside of you that nobody is able to put out. There is not a person on this planet that can stop you. There is not a person on this planet that can puncture your potential if you can just get through the process. Just get through the process. It's muddy, it's bloody, but it's worth it. At the end of the day, it's worth it. No sunrise without a sunset. There is no one like you in all of the earth. There is no one that can do what you can do. You are the only option. You are the only play. Nobody else is going to be able to do this. Know this, that your process may be messy, but your mess will become your message. So what is your why? Because if your why is powerful enough, then you can persevere through the process. What is it? Find it. Define it. Be reminded that you can, you will, you must never, never give, up. give up. That's a question. Man, we felt that video. We felt that video. That is the question, ladies and gentlemen. What is your why? And I want to ask you all, do me a favor within, you know, one to three words. Just drop in the chat for those of you who are, are able to drop in the chat what your why is. If it's your children, you can say, you know, my kids, if it's uh, financial freedom, put financial freedom. If it's getting your parents a house or putting your family in a position to win, you know, put family like just within one or three words. I want to see what your why is. We got 65 people on the call right now. Let's drop it, guys, real quick, real quick. Just drop it, just drop it, just drop it. What's your why? What's your why? We're gonna have we're gonna have a very real conversation today, guys. Uh, as many of you all know, by the way, if you don't know me, this is our first time meeting. My name is Joe Johnson. Uh, I'm an ambassador with UWE. I've been doing this business full time for about two years now, uh, 27 years old and uh, loving life right now. So uh, welcome and nice to meet you. Um, we're gonna have a very real conversation today. So keep dropping in the, in the chat what your why is, what's your why, one or three words. I'm looking in the chat now, I see family. I see to help others, uh, my children, my children help others and my goal my house for my family to break generational curses, financial freedom, kids, a better life. There's no wrong answer, guys, no wrong answer. Just drop it, just what is your why? Financial freedom, family legacy, finance, health issues, my family breaking curses, freedom in general. Um, I can't, I will never give up family. I'm building a legacy for my children who aren't even in the making yet. Love it, money, me, uh, family, financial freedom. Okay, great, keep it coming, keep it coming. So. Your why is so important. 
as that video really kind of laid out. Because I'm gonna tell you right now, here is the reason why people quit this type of business. And you can really date it to anything, why people quit anything. And the reason why they quit is because their why is only about them. Their why is only about them. And when your why is only about yourself, then soon enough, you're gonna face something, an obstacle of some sort that's going to be bigger than you. And once you face that, it's game over. Because now, all the reasons that you have for doing this is not going to outweigh the challenges that you're facing or the work that they use in the video. The process that you're experiencing is not going to be worth the amount of, of uh, stress that you're going through because right now you're looking at your life like, well, I got too much to do. I got too much on my plate. I got too much going on. I can't do this because it's about you. For all my friends and all my family in the chat right now who's, who's saying that their why is their family, whether it's your parents. I saw somebody say they want to get a house for their family. I saw somebody said they want to just help their kids and they're not even here yet. My mom, my brothers, my sisters, my daughter. Check this out. For all of those of you who are saying that your why is your kids, have you ever sat down with your children and said, hey, son, hey, daughter, mommy, daddy, I'm doing this business for you and I'm going to hit this promotion, fill in the blank. I'm going to hit agent. I'm going to hit field trainer. I'm going to hit senior field trainer. I'm going to hit uh, sales director. I'm going to hit regional sales director. I'm going to hit, uh, 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 you know, executive sales director, vice president or above. Have you ever sat down in front of your children and really had that conversation? Chances are probably not yet. Because even though we say it's about our kids, I'm gonna tell y'all like this, and I'm talking to the parents right now for a second. I'm gonna tell you like this, and then it's gonna sound a little dramatic, but if somebody was threatening your child's life, if literally, if their hands were on your child and they were threatening their life, are you telling me right now that the level of commitment that you would to stop that person is the same amount of energy, passion, consistency that you apply to your business? I guarantee you the answer is no. I guarantee you, y'all can debate me, y'all can fight me, but I have seen videos online when one video that comes to my mind right now is a mother who literally her child had got stuck in her car. This woman lifted a car up to get her child from under. I ain't never seen no woman, and she ain't no boat. She's skinny, like five two. She lifted a car to get her child from under the car. Listen to me. If you truly were applying that same energy to this business, you would be a vice president right now. But when I ask the question, what is your why? It's easy to say, oh yeah, my family. I'm doing this for my family. So then why is it at the end of the day, you end the day with no sales? Why is it at the end of the day, you end the day with no agents on your team? If somebody said that your child can't eat unless you actually enrolled an agent, are you applying that same energy, that same circumstances? Maybe for some of you, you might say yes. For others, most of us, there's 66 people on the call. I'm going to tell you right now, the answer is no. And I'm not just guesstimating. I've talked to Curlins. He, he, I don't know if y'all know this, but everybody in, is, is in his organization. He can see all the production. And when I look at the numbers, the answer is no. See, for some of us, we're doing this business full time. So our mindsets are a little different. Like Curlin's, he has a child. Tiffany has her little sister. Tano has his entire family. We're doing this business full time, meaning that if we don't close deals in the week, we don't make a paycheck. And if we don't make a paycheck, we can't feed our families or pay our bills. So our why really reflects our work ethic because we don't have a choice. Too many of us in Mogul Nation, ladies and gentlemen, we got too many choices. And so when it comes to doing your absolute best, when it comes to truly putting in the work, when it comes to really closing those deals, hitting those promotions, hitting those ranks, and recruiting agents, I need you to really ask yourself, am I really doing this for my family? Or am I saying that because it sounds nice on the morning call? Who am I talking to? You ain't got to answer that. Like, let's, let's really have a real talk, y'all. 
See, it's funny to me that when I look at how many people are attending the Mogul Nation event, I want to say we got less than 100 tickets sold right now. There is 64 people on this call. On average, we have about 70 people on a morning call every single day. There's less than 100 tickets that are sold for the Mogul Nation event. Something's not right. Because that event is going to teach you the skills that are necessary to be able to build the business and be able to put yourself in position to win in the business, the same business that you just said you want to provide for your family, your legacy, generational wealth, helping your parents, that same exact why, but you haven't even got a ticket to make it to the event. See, if it was really about your family, if you knew that this event can change your family's life and you're doing this for your family, you would have got a ticket two months ago, who am I talking to right now? I know, I know some of y'all like probably just, mm, he don't know my life. He don't know what I'm going through. He don't know what I'm experiencing. Listen, can I be honest with you guys for a second? I almost quit. I almost quit UWE. Being honest with you guys. I'm 27 years old. I'm an only child. I grew up with a single mother. Her opinion means the world to me. For the longest time, she hasn't been the most supportive. Yeah, you know, she, she plugs in every now and then and asks me how things are going and what the checks are looking like. And when she stops getting the big checks that she's used to getting, because she's in my organization, even though she doesn't work, right? I build a leg under her. When her checks aren't as good, she's like, Joe, you know, have you thought about getting a job yet? Have you thought about doing different stuff? I'm like, what do you mean different stuff? I love what I'm doing. Yeah, but how many of us have family members who don't necessarily promote or even support your UWE business? Who am I talking to? Drop number one in the chat. How many of you all have ever experienced somebody who you cared about and truly respected them and their opinion, and they told you that they don't support this? They, they give you the explanation of they've done it before, it doesn't work. They tell you it's a scam. They tell you that they've had friends who've done it. Guys, I almost quit because the lack of support was so hard. For those of you who don't know, I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina. I just told you I'm an only child. I don't have any family in North Carolina. My dad, all my aunties on that side, they live in Tennessee, Nashville, Tennessee. My mom, she's an only child too. I don't have no aunts and uncles on that side of my family. My mom lives in Texas. I'm the only person in Charlotte, meaning that when it comes to my responsibilities, it's up to me. If I get stuck on the side of the road, shout out to my brothers who, who look out, my friends who will help me, but it's up to me. When they're not available, it's up to me to figure it out. I'm a figure it out kind of person. So when I get into this business and I'm figuring it out, but I don't have any support for months and months and months. And every time I talk to my family, they're asking me, you know, why are you doing this? Like, like, are you, are you no longer doing what you got a degree in? Are, are you no longer like, you know, working? Like, what, what's your goal with this? And they question me and they doubt me and they've done that for so long. And it got to the point where I ended up hitting a couple of titles and then my team ended up quitting on me too. So now my family has already quit on me. They don't support me. They don't send me any referrals. And now my team is quitting on me as well. How many of us have dealt with that? Drop number two in the chat. You had a team member quit on you. You had a partner who quit on you. You had somebody who you got in the business. Y'all had a great conversation. Y'all talked for hours about the vision that you're going to build, the business y'all about to create. And then they quit. My very first agent that I got in the business was my coworker. I was working as a server years ago. He's my very first agent. He quit. My second agent was my roommate. That's my dog, my roll dog. He quit. The agents that he brought in, I had an RSD. I had three RSDs. They quit. Can I be honest with you guys? I'm just, I'm just being honest with you right now. I had an ESD doing $50,000 in my business. They quit. And we're not talking about people who are not making money. This is the same person when she lost her job from the pandemic, joined our business within four months, hit executive sales director. Her mom was struggling and had to do some repairs on the house. She needed $2,000. That same agent cashed up her mom $4,000. Money that she earned from UWE. They was getting paid, but they quit. Imagine for me, I'm already by myself. 
I'm looking at my business fall apart. I don't have my family support me. This is one of the days I'm gonna show you guys. We're just having an honest conversation right now. I'm gonna show you guys one of the one of the things that just truly broke my heart. So I'm on Facebook promoting my business. And my cousin, this is a cousin who I absolutely adore. She literally changed my diaper. She's my older cousin. And uh, she sends me a message when I'm promoting my business. And she says this, February 15th, 2020. Joseph, you're, you're so much better than, she meant to say this, your integrity is better than this. I said, what? I'm better than this. My integrity is better than this. I'm like, y'all can see it. What are you talking about, All right. I will feel better talking to you on the phone. Just please know what I'm gonna say will be out of love. Maybe we can talk once you return to North Carolina. So we had a conversation and she let me know that she never thought that I would be invested in a scam. When I first started, you know, they was gonna let me kind of learn the hard way and kind of watch me go through it because they know they can't control me. But then as they saw, I was getting more and more. This is 2020 y'all. As I got more serious about the business, they couldn't stand it. This is my family. I saw a lot of people drop number ones. That means that you guys have experienced people not supporting you. And for so many of us, that lack of support turns into lack of belief. And then you stop believing in the potential that this business can create for you. You stop believing that the same people, your kids, your family, the things that you're trying to create with this business, you start to lose sight of the potential because so many people lack that belief. But I'm gonna tell y'all something because we being honest right now. I knew what my why was. My why was so much bigger than my family's opinions of me. My why was so much bigger than my team quitting on me. I'm not gonna let the lack of belief in somebody else affect my belief because it's so much bigger than that. My why was so much more massive than just stopping this business because I don't have a couple of friends who want to join my team. It's bigger than that. My why is so much bigger than, than my money, my income slowing down a little bit. It's bigger than that. So what happened was that was February 15, 2020. I didn't stop. I kept going. I kept persevering. I said, you know what? I'm not going to stop. You know what? I am going to be the first seven figure earner in my company, my family. I don't have any millionaires in my family that I can call right now and they can put me on game about stuff. I didn't have that. I still don't have that. So I got to be the first. If you don't come from a family of millionaires, then a millionaire must come from you. And I kept working and I kept grinding. My team quit. I kept on going. And then I ended up hitting vice president. And the same as that person who just told me in February, Joseph, I can't believe this. You're so much better than this. Your integrity is better than this. She sends me a message. She says, this proves one thing. As long as you are sure of your vision, what no one says, including me, I'm very proud of you. I only want to see you win. I had, to, I had to remember that in your adulthood, you will try and fail at things, and we can't prevent those things as your family. And you are showing us all that no matter what life goes your way, what people think or say, you will prevail. Go, Joseph. Congratulations, King. That's the same cousin who didn't believe in me at first. Why are we quitting and stopping building our business when somebody else don't support our dream? That dream wasn't meant for them. It was meant for you. God put it into you to make sure that you can achieve success in your family. Family, for your kids, for your parents, for your generation that wealth is not even here yet. But you quit in the business because somebody said no yesterday. You slowing down on three-way calls because your team quit on you. Who am I talking to right now? Every single person on this call should already have a ticket to the Mogul Nation event. But because of a little bit of lack of belief, you saying, I don't have $70 to spend on a ticket. I don't have the money to make it to Florida. I, don't, I can't do that. And those can'ts, those lack of beliefs, that's why you're in the position you are in right now. It's not the people around you. It's not your environment. Well, Joe, you don't understand. I'm, I'm in a city where nobody understands this kind of stuff. They don't worry about business. They in the streets. Then get out the streets and go down the street. Stop making excuses on why you can't see success. I lived it. <laughs> I went through it. I promise you. I promise you. I know what it's like. My same friends who said they don't want to join my business went and joined another company. Failed in that company. Came back to me and still didn't want to do my business. But Joe, you trying to pull up and drink? You trying to link up with the boys? Go out? No, I'm working. 
I'm building my legacy because my why is so much bigger. My vision is so much clearer. Mobile Nation, we got, we got to get that. We, we, we got to understand that it's bigger than that. So don't tell me on the morning call, this is about your kids. Talk to my parents. This is about your kids. And then you log off the Zoom and you don't pick up the phone to talk to nobody all day. Don't say this is about putting your parents in a house and you don't do not one three-way call. It's Friday. What was your activity like starting from Monday this week? If I, if I literally pulled up your phone and I went through, how many messages am I going to see that you promoted UW? How many phone calls am I going to see in your log that you did three ways with your mentor? How many presentations am I going to be able to see that you jumped on? How many trainings did you plug into this week? But then you turn around and say, I didn't do no three-way calls, Joe. I wasn't at any trainings, Joe. I didn't, I, didn't, I didn't plug into any presentations, Joe. Then don't say this is about your family because it's not. It's about you. You want to get rich. Admit it. Be honest. You want to get rich. And you saw UWE as an opportunity to do that. That's awesome. That's great. But I'm telling you right now, that mindset is not going to take you far because this is a, this is a, a harvest. This is a garden. You are planting into this process. And like everybody knows when it comes to gardening, you're not about to have a plant overnight. You're definitely not about to have a field, a farm overnight. So we got to get out of this mindset that we're joining this business to make tens of thousands of dollars in the next couple of weeks when you've never even done that before. You got you to gotta respect the process. Like they said in the video, there are no roses without rain. I know you're going through stuff, bro. Sis. I know you're going through stuff. I know your bank account might not be where it needs to be, where you want it to be. I know your team quit on you. I know mama keeps saying that it's a scam. Your husband, your wife says she don't support, he don't support you. I know all of that. But this is your process. If your dream is only counting on you, it's not big enough. If I would have never kept going, if I would have quit with so many of my family members, people who were very wise, like my grandparents, you know what I mean? Like these aren't just random people. Like my grandparents said, Joe, you should do something else. Y'all, they just told me this in Thanksgiving of last year. <laughs> they just told me this last year at the dinner table, called me on the spot. They going around the table. So what's all the cousins doing? What's all the kids doing? Joe, uh, what are you, you still doing that thing? Were you, you, Helping or doing credit and stuff? Yes. Well, how's that going? Y'all ever ask somebody, how's that going? They don't care how it's going. They, they want me to tell them, you know, oh, it's, it's, it's all right. It's going very well. We just got promotions a couple of months ago. We, we got a lot of people winning right now. A couple people quit their job doing this full time. It's going very well. I'm sorry that I'm not working at home. Let me stop. Look, <laughs> God, I'm just being honest with y'all for a second right now, okay? All of us are going through very similar situations, but those of you who are going to make it big in this business are those of you who are going to accept the process. You fight through the process, and I promise you, once you hit that title that you dream of, it's going to be so worth it. You're going to appreciate it so much more because you fought for it, not because it was given to you. Not because your upline placed a, a $10,000 leg under you and all of a sudden, like, you got to work for that. And it's going to be so much more. So I want to just, I want to just share this for a second. I looked this up today. And if you know me, and trust me, I don't do any uh, gardening. <laughs> All right, I don't, I don't be out there in the fields. I, I promise you, I, I don't do that. Right, I don't have a green thumb at all. I got a plant. My, my property gave me a plant a couple months ago. It was dead by the end of the week. I'm, I'm not good at it, all right? But what I can tell you is, when I look at this diagram, this is the, the process when it comes to farming. And I found it so interesting. I found it so interesting because it reminds me of this business. So let's talk about it for a second. The very first step when it comes to gardening and, or getting ready for your farm is preparation of soil. I look at preparation of soil as making the investment and doing your launch call with your sponsor. Right. Your upline is telling you, hey, look, what's your goals? You want to make 500 a month, 1000 a month, 5000 a month. Here's what we need to do. Here's the position that we need to achieve to get to that level. So you're preparing. Right. 
and then they give you the post to put on Facebook, that's you sewing. Now you're sewing into your business. You do that first PBR, that first launch presentation where you get your friends and family, that's sewing. Because now you're able to put yourself in position to show others what it is that you're about to be building. This amazing farm that you're about to be expanding on, right? Next step is adding manures and fertilizers. If you know manures and fertilizers, that is going to help your garden grow. That's going to get your garden the nutrients that it needs to be able to expand. Guys, that's training. A lot of us are trying to skip this step. Well, I, I, I can't get on VP University at nine o'clock. I'm asleep by that time. I wake up early on Tuesday morning. All right, cool. Well, how about Sunday Alliance training at eight o'clock? Oh, well, well Sunday is, is, is my time to, to just kind of get ready for the week. I can't get on no training on Sunday. Okay, well, what about the, the Friday Mogul Nation training? Oh, that's at 5.30? Oh, no, no, I'm, I'm still going to be at work. You're not adding any fertilizer to your, your garden. How can you expect your business to grow when you don't have the skills to build it? I was training my team last night and we talked about, it's like, it's like a bike. Like if I ever rode on a bike and I fell and I fell down and I hurt myself, naturally I'm gonna be nervous to do it again, right? But it's the fact that I did it over and over and over and over again. And I was prepared to be able to say, you know what, I didn't get it the last time. Let me try again. I fell a little bit more. I said, let me try it again. And eventually I learned how to ride a bike. Too many of us start this business today and we don't do anything for the next week. And then we hear that one call and we're like, you know what? Yep, it's time. Let me get started. And then we stop again for another two weeks. And then we say, you know what? I'm going to get serious this time. I'm, I'm going to take this thing serious this time. And then you stop again for another month. That is the pattern. And I've witnessed it over the course of two years. Leaders, how many of y'all have seen this in your teams? Talking to the leaders right now. You have to add the fertilizer. You got to get on these trainings. You got to plug yourself in. You got to put yourself in that position to really understand and lock into your business. And then after that, the very next step is irrigation. Now, like I told you, I don't know nothing about farming. So I had to look up what irrigation is. And I'm going to read y'all the definition that I looked up. I found this so, so interesting. Watch this. Irrigation is the supply of water to land or crops to help grow, typically by means of channels. I'll say it again. Irrigation is the supply of water to land or crops to help growth, typically by means of channels. I look at that. I look at irrigation, guys, as all the people keep telling you no. How many of us have ever gone through a storm before? It looks scary, right? When you, especially when you're driving. When you're driving in that storm, you can't see nothing. Your, your windows start getting fogged up. You're like, man, traffic is getting bad. People getting into accidents around you. You know, like, this is a bad storm. But eventually what happens? You get out. And that's what's happening in your business in this irrigation phase. Right now, you got people telling you no. People telling you, let me do my research. People telling you it's a scam. People telling you it's not going to work. And you're letting that phase stop you from getting to the next phase because you're so stressed out from all of the rejection. Guys, stop letting rejection slow you down from your dreams. Rejection is not a reflection of you. It's a reflection of them. You don't want to do this? All right, bro. No problem. I'm going to keep on going. So you got to go through that irrigation phase. You got to keep watering your garden and then you get to the weeding phase. Now what happens is you start getting people coming in your business. But man, you thinking everybody about to come in your business is about to be a top earner. You done made it. You done recruited about five people. You like, I got a dream team right now. And then they start slowing down. So now you got to weed through the numbers. Now you got to say, okay, you know what? Even though I got five agents, 10 agents, 15, 20 agents, only two of them are really working. Let me figure out who I'm going to weed through and figure out who I'm going to really apply my time with. Who am I going to run with? Curlins talks about it all the time. When he fell down from RSD to senior field trainer, he had to go through this process. He had to weed through his organization. And he saw like not a lot of people were working, but there's this guy in North Carolina. And, and he's so consistent. Curlins calls me up. He says, Joe, I want to come to North Carolina. I said, come on. He stayed on my floor for two weeks. He weaved through the process. He helped me understand what I had to do in this business to grow in my market. And I did that. And because he didn't give up on me because he weeded through his business, even though he had a lot of agents who quit on him, he didn't quit on the business. He found me and we ended up doing vice president. Now he has $100,000 coming to his back office from one leg. 
Some of you all have people in your team right now who you got to weed through. And then you got to harvest. This is the patient process. This is the period that we call the process. This is the process where you're staying consistent. You're making posts on social media. You're inviting people daily to the information. You're doing the three-way calls. You're harvesting your business. A lot of us are in this stage right now, and it's a slow season. Because you're like, man, I feel like I've been harvesting for months. Y'all know, like, for corn to grow and for plants to grow and vegetation to grow, you know it don't happen in like a week, right? You know it happens in months, right? We call it seasons. A lot of y'all are going through your harvest season right now. But it's the fact that you have to tend to that harvest. You have to continue to look at your garden, look at your farm. You have to stay consistent. And eventually, you'll get to the threshing. And at that point, guess what? Even though, and this is what happened to me, I went through the threshing phase. I ended up hitting VP. I was feeling myself. I was like, hey, you know what? I got it. I made it. I done harvested. I'm finally here. And then my ESD started to quit. My RSD started to quit. I had to thresh. I had to start cutting off some people. I had to say, you know what? You go ahead and do your own thing. I got to stay doing my thing because I can't let my farm die. So I had to keep on pressing forward. I had to thresh through some challenges. I ended up coming across some finding financial setbacks as a leader my team is looking at me like go joe go joe lead us lead us lead us not knowing my account is is back i'm i'm down bad i'm getting behind on my bills i'm being honest with y'all for a second i was getting behind on my bills as a leader still doing calls still showing up like come on team let's get it and i was struggling internally but mentally i knew where i was going i was just threshing it was hard you get tired threshing. You chopping stuff out. You out there in the heat. You get tired of it. But it's a part of the process. And then you get to storage. Now you have a team of 100-something people, 200, 300-something people. Now you're going on vacations and you're still getting paychecks. Now you're traveling the world with your family. You're still getting paychecks because now the storage is plentiful. Your team has a system. Your team's operating at max potential, it's growing, it's expanding. And then guess what? This will be another season. You're gonna do the same thing, starting with the preparation of soil. <laughs> you have to relaunch a couple of times. Guys, this is entrepreneurship all the way. And too many of us get to preparation of soil and we slow down when it comes to sowing. We get to add and fertilizers and we slow down. We get an integration and we slow down. Like you got to enjoy the process. I'm telling you right now, when you look at it from this type of perspective and say, you know what, all the things that I'm going through, I have to go through that. When you go through that mindset, instead of saying all the things that I'm going through, why am I going through that? Man, it's such a different mindset. Accept the journey, Mogul Nation. Where you want to be at, it is close. Your breakthrough is this close. You've been consistent for six months. You've been in the business for a year. You're this close. Now, just because I say you're this close, that don't mean you're about to get it tomorrow. This close can be a week. This close can be a month. This close can be three, four months. But if you say I spent a year investing my time, my energy, my stress, my emotions, right? If you invested a year into a business like UWE, and then you end up hitting a position like vice president where you're generating 10, 15, $20,000 a month, would you say that that year of investment was worth it? If you end up spending two years investing in this and you end up hitting regional vice president making a minimum of 20 to $30,000 a month, would you say those two years was worth it? Hello? When you hit executive vice president after four to five years of investing and growing and sowing and harvesting and threshing, would you say that after three to five years of consistently doing that, you hit executive vice president making thirty to $50,000 a month, would you say it was worth it? So why are we stopping a month in the business? Why are we slowing down six months in the business? because you've fallen out of love of the process and you fell out of love of the process because your why was never really about anybody else but yourself. 
I don't know who I'm talking to today. <laughs> but I'm telling you guys, it's not as complicated as you might think. It takes work, mental work, emotional work. It takes faith. It got to be bigger than you, though. If you truly want to make it in this business, it got to be bigger than you. So I want you guys to really reevaluate your why. Really sit down and think about this. Think deep. I showed y'all. I'm trying to show y'all everything. I'm trying to be as transparent as possible because I understand. And I want you guys to make it to the top. And you can, but you got to, it starts with you. It starts with you. Every single person who said they want to do this for their families and their parents and their kids, there's no reason why you should not be in Florida with us June 3rd and June 4th. You should be there. You should be there. Because <laughs> you say you want to do this. And we're going to teach you everything that you need to know. We got so many leaders. I can't even tell y'all what's about to go down. I know I, I know a little bit of what's happening that weekend. And it's going to be crazy. You don't want to miss it. So if you know that you're going to do whatever it takes to make it to this event so that you can harvest your business properly, can I see 10X in the chat? If you know that you're going to get your ticket one of my leaders, do me a favor, drop the Eventbrite link inside of the uh, inside of the chat. If you know that you're going to be there in Florida, June 3rd and June 4th for the Mogul Nation event, go ahead and drop 10x in the chat. Look, Jasmine says she just got her ticket. Let's go. Can we get a copy of this recording? I got you. I got you. 10x, 10x. That's what I like to see, guys. Look, he said 10x plus two. Doug is bringing somebody else. I love it, guys. Keep it dropping. Keep it dropping. Keep it dropping. This is what it's all about. You got to plug into your business because nobody else is going to plug in for you. It is up to you. Your success is up to you. The size of your team should not match the size of your ambition. I'll say it again. The size of your team should not match the size of your ambition. You got to take this thing serious. And it starts with being at that event, June 34th. And working from now, it's April. We don't got a lot of time, right? Bring somebody else. Focus on building a team now, even if it's just three people. You might not have nobody in your team right now. Just get three people. Bring them to the event. Hit field trainer, bring them to the event and watch your life change. All right, guys. So, hey, look, I appreciate you all. I love you all. Thank you for having me. Uh, and as we always say, you already know what it is. <laughs> Mogul Nation for life. Love you guys. Have a good day.